Hi there, another financial mathematics video. This time we're looking at income again, but this time different uh, forms of income. We had a look at wages and salaries in another video, but this one looks at piecework, fees and commissions. Three different uh, types of um, income formats that we can have. Let's have a look. Piecework. Um, okay. Payment is made as a set amount for each item produced. Um, for an example, a person who makes a wedding dress, sometimes in the fashion industries, you get paid for how many items you make. So, uh, yeah, this example uh, sets it up for piecework. Holly receives $127.60 for each wedding dress she makes. So let's calculate how much she receives in a month in which she produces nine wedding dresses. So she gets paid per wedding dress from the uh, wedding shop. So all we do is, uh, the amount of money per dress, for each dress basically, uh, is $127.60 if she makes nine of them uh, in that month. All we're doing is multiplying that uh, price per dress, or for each dress, by the nine that she makes, um, and we get an income for the month of $1148.4, but it makes sense to turn that into 40 cents there. That 0.4 of a dollar doesn't make much, uh, much sense, uh, no pun intended. Okay, so it was a question asked in a sentence form. So Holly's pay for the month ends up being $1,148.40, nine times uh, the uh, rate for each dress because she made nine dresses. Makes a bit of sense. Okay, fees. Some occupations uh, are able to set fees. So they're just payments according to the charges set by the worker. So that's pretty handy if you can set your fees. But if you set your fees uh, too high, people won't. will we'll go to the uh, the person next door. Um, and examples of people who charge fees are accountants and architects. Many professional people. If you get someone to design your kitchen, they'll charge a fee for that. Uh, doctors and dentists are allowed to um, charge fees for. Uh, a con consultation or to fix a, a filling or something or other but many contractors as well it's not only professional people if you get, get someone to come in and dig a hole uh, to put a pool in the uh, person who does the digging the excavator might charge a certain amount just for that job so you, he digs the uh, the ground out in your backyard to put the pool in and he'll send you a bill for that and he decides that fee okay so that's fees We'll have a look at commissions now. Payments, uh, these are payments made according to a percentage of the sales that a person makes. So if a company uh, employs a salesperson and this salesperson makes a sale, then the company obviously gets most of the profits, but the salesperson gets a little slice of it as well, and that's a commission. So examples of people who get paid in commissions on a regular basis are real estate agents. They might get a certain percentage of the value of the house that they sell for someone, art dealers for selling paintings and that sort of thing, and people who run auctions can often get a percentage of the value of the goods that they sell. So example six here is as an auctioneer, Mike receives 2% commission of the value of any artwork he sells. So find out how much he receives when he sells a famous painting for $64,000. That's too much money for me to pay for a painting, but still. So he gets 2% commission of the value of the goods that he sells. So it's just going to be 2% of that $64,000 and that goes into Mike's uh, pay. That's uh, that's his pay. Mike receives twelve hundred dollars and eighty cents. Uh, sorry, twelve hundred and eighty dollars in commission. So that's okay. That's very. That's all very well when Mike uh, sells a painting. But what about in a month that he doesn't sell a painting? Well, they've thought of that. If Mike has a pretty lean month and he doesn't sell any paintings, or a real estate agent doesn't sell any uh, houses for that month, they're often paid a, a retainer as well. As well as earning commissions, many salespeople are also paid a set weekly or a set monthly amount known as a retainer, so they don't actually starve that month. They'll, that often is a smaller amount of money, but it's enough to buy some groceries or whatever. So the uh, I guess commissions are really encouraging salespeople to make lots of sales because because they get a certain percentage of the value of those sales as their income. So uh, yeah, some industries work on that basis as well. Okay, so that's piecework, uh, commissions and fees and that sort of thing, and we learnt about uh, a term called a retainer as well. So it's good to know that background knowledge and uh, know about how uh, different people are paid. Thanks for listening, PeterBlakeMass.com, catch you on the next video.